Hi folks, good morning. It's a lovely morning. Just finished fixing up my old John Gray banjo ukulele. You can see it's a John Gray, it's got it on this nice brass badge here. And on the back is a serial number. what it sounds like. Um, I completely re took this apart and then put it together um, just readjusting the tuners. Really nice tuners on these as you can see it's got really nice meaty screws on the end as some tuners the, the notch on the screw at the end get gets um, worn and you can't tune them up but this is really nice. Really nice tuners those and um, I put a new calf skin vellum on it, nice quality one, this will last for years, you know, outlive you definitely, and outlive your your kids and everything. And um, you have to be careful as there are a lot of very thin, ultra thin ones going around that, that don't do the job. I reset the action so it's quite low, can you see that's, that's the height of the strings above the um, neck there. And but for those of you want that like it a bit higher, when I sell this, I'll, I'll supply another bridge of a different height so you can vary the action. And also, let me know if you've got fat fingers, because what I can do, I can widen the notches, widen the spaces of the notches here, so you can get the cords easier. Nice chrome work, no rust or anything. And the woodwork, it's made out of, um, the wood is bird's eye maple, which is it's a lovely wood, very decorative and... Um, it makes it makes a sound really nice as well but um, obviously there's a few little marks on it but when you consider this is over sort of 70 80 years old you'd have a few marks on you as well at that age nice decorative tailpiece and um, inside there it's very similar to the Dallas D where you have the straight through strut going there with with an attachment to sort of vary the action very slightly but if you look at the pictures on the description uh, on the advert you'll, you'll see all that very easily and um, I think it's a relatively loud one but I've put my own make strings which, which aren't that loud if you want it really loud you put a quillers but you can vary the sound whereabouts along the fretboard you strum like down here is, is nice and mellow but up there is louder So you, you sort of can, can change the sound as you want. Now this is tuned to sort of standard tuning G, C, E, A. But in, in Formby's time uh, they used to tune them a little bit higher because they had no amplification in some of the halls. And they just tuned them higher so, so the sound would project more. And they used to tune them to A, D, F sharp, B. What I do, I'll do a little demo of this tuned higher to, to the George Formby type tuning, then you can get an idea of the sound. So this goes A, D, F sharp, B. I'll do a sort of George Formby type melody. Um. tune because I've, I've got a very slight hangover and I find it hard to tune with a hangover. Sorry about that. Anyway, that gives you a, a good um, explanation and demonstration of this banjo uke. And also, whoever buys this, I'm going to supply 
uh, banjo gig bag and it's absolutely the right size for this and to be honest with you I prefer these banjo gig bags as the original um, cases are sort of made of cardboard and they're not that unless you get an immaculate one they're not very practical but look look at this it's actually made to measure almost a little thing to carry it on and a little handle like that so there we have it Jasper Happy's John Gray banjo ukulele I might put this on Gumtree or might put it on eBay but um, if you want to find out more details just check at the bottom of this video and I'll put my email. Thank you and have a nice day. I'm going fishing.